And we're live! Oh yeah! Live! We'll see who comes in to hang out! <laughs> My dog's passed out, so that's a good thing. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? All right, trying to get over to my YouTube. YouTube. So many. I got to We'll see who comes in to hang out. Maybe no one, maybe a couple. Who knows? Anything's possible. Oh, here we go. Bestie's in here. First to arrive. Da, 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 da. Oh my goodness, all these pop-ups. I wish I should turn out turn off the pop-ups on my phone. It probably would help. Then I wouldn't get so many pop-ups. Alright, YouTube, I think I turned the volume down. And this way I can see. There we go. All right. Oh. Do, 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 do. When I get up here, all I want to do now is just... Uh, Move my Funkos around up here while I've been sitting here. I'm thinking about, well, I'm not thinking. I am definitely going to do some move. Hello, David. Sure, Jim. Thank you. Thank you, bestie. So, yeah, thinking about moving my uh, row here. This row, these two rows that are here, they are um, oh, Rick, Rick and Morty. I'm going to move all my Rick and Mortys. I think I'm going to move them to the far corner. Move all the far corner ones out here. So I'm going to move this, this shelf around a bit, move it around. I'm going to reorganize it. And besides, the ones that are over in the corner don't have all um, protector cases on them. So this way I can pull them out with the protector cases on them. Everything that's on these walls now we're done, except for a couple at the very, very top, which I can't reach So until I get the ladder out. So it is what it is. So until I get around to... Uh, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Since I'm pretty much not doing much anyhow, sticking it, staying around in the house. So... Uh, I can see, oh yeah, well, I don't know, I mean, it's either that or I make a shelf somewhere over here, see, I have a room above that picture frame, I could move that picture down just a hair or so, put another small shelf in there just for my cans from window to the corner, you see what I'm saying, I'd get probably... Actually, I could probably get a shelf in there because I could bury the racket. I could put the racket or the, the brackets underneath the uh, poster and then just have the poster or have the uh, the shelf go from corridor from there over here. Just fills that little gap in. But you wouldn't see the brackets because the brackets would be hit by the poster. Do you see what I'm saying? And I could put it there. So I could do that too. And I still have that corner. So, I mean, over there, I'm probably going to get, oh, geez, I don't know, man. Quite a few. Quite a few. So I may have to go and see if I can dig some more brackets. We may have to go to the uh, shop because I know I got some up there. But I don't want big brackets. I want short brackets. I don't like, I mean, I've got, I don't know. I, have to, I might have some smaller brackets. Might work for that because I don't have, I don't want to use really th like, you know, thick, thick wood to, uh, to make my shelf. And I definitely don't use particle board. I use pine build my shelves so and they're all, of course free because i use um skid wood which is the skids i don't use hardwood i use skid wood which is usually pine wood so since it's all free and that's what i built my shelf out of and the one above there and then the one down there all free wood and the one over the corner over there free wood too and then the one i'll put above the door for the window sorry above the window window oh we got we got to there we go. <laughs> CDC. CDC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, yeah. I was live. I said I was going live. I'm going to go live, I'm gonna go live soon, and I was going to go live. I just don't know when I'm going to go live. I could have went live probably all week, but 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a live tomorrow. I might have to go pick up Leo from the hospital. He has no car or anything. Yeah, that's true. I've been irritable, so I didn't want to go live because then I get mean and nasty. If someone hey, says man. something, you know. <laughs> much love, much love. There we go. She's throwing him out. Well, yeah, do you, you don't even know what time he's getting released, do you? No, he's going to let me know. Well, you can always do it after. Yeah. Would work. After is good. Then Randy will be coming home. What time is he getting home? He said he should be home by three. Really? Yeah. But it's so weird. Yeah. Like, he's six hours already ahead of us. So it's 1230 in, at night right now for him. It just seems so weird. Like, I woke, I wake up in the middle of the night at 1230, and I'll say, good morning. And he's, yeah. he's like, I don't know if I should say hi or if I not do anything because it's late. <laughs> I said, if I text you, means I'm up. Yeah. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, folks. Well, poor people. Yep, that is true. It does help so, her. Yeah. And she's working on one of yeah, her other guys. to her coin channel. She's only at 50. Or? No, no, the other one. I know my other channel, the uh, um, farm. The pet one? The farm? Yeah, it's. A yeah, it's a 52, I think. I, I should probably yeah. just get here. I'll just get the uh, the link for it. Well, once you put in I'll Miss Canadian, you, you should get all of her. It her pops up anyhow. Yeah, yeah, all three of my channels usually pop up within like, sure. Miss Canadian. Oh. Yeah. I found my um, Hanging with the Heifers Christmas t-shirt yesterday okay. cleaning. I lost it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> yeah, I found it. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> How are you guys doing anyway? I'm doing better. I'm back. I'm ready to roll. Yeah, I won't name that name. again. That'll go in the trash tomorrow. There. There's the link to that other one I was talking about, my other one. Yeah, that's her <laughs> Miss Canadian's farmhouse. Yeah, I changed. It used to be as videos, but it was so hard to find. So then I wanted to be similar to my channels that I already have, which Miss Canadian yep. Stacker, Miss Canadian Scrapper, and this one's Miss Canadian's Farmhouse because it's going to have. I'm going to essentially move all my animals and everything is going to be more because I might even actually in the summer I might actually leave like I don't know like a camera on the goats all like for hours or something. I might just set up a camera thing and put it in and let it play, or I might just set up a live. But you can't comment and all that stuff. I may just leave it as you yeah, can come in and watch. A watching. Um, yeah, just a watching thing. So you guys can watch yeah. what they do. All, if you want to go over and watch it, then it'll be something like that. Maybe I might set up on that channel over there. Because, I mean, they do some crazy stuff, man. I'm like, oh, I didn't have my phone out when they do it, you know, this way. It's funny. I love to watch them because I love when they run so fast and they're like, it's not even Picking running. Up. It's kind of like hopping. It's funny. I got, I got static cleaning and I got glue in my hair today. <laughs> I glued my hair. Brush it out. I will later. I'm going to take a or shower. Or just cut it. Then. Or just cut it out. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> my hair's a wreck. Look at me. I'm just a big old mess today. That's all right. Here. Woke up at 12 and been up ever since. So I finally got rid of the bed hair, <laughs> bed head. Mine is usually, see right here, these wisps are usually flat to my face. Like oh, that. Mine, mine was so bad. <laughs> like it was pad. bad. It was bad. I need a haircut, but I haven't seen Donna. Donna doesn't come around haircut. anymore. Donna doesn't come around anymore. Well, Brian doesn't because he's been busy working. I know that because with all the snow, the freezing rain and all that, he's working. So. Yeah. And Donna, I don't know why we haven't seen Donna. Donna usually used to come by all the time. So, I don't know. She doesn't come by anymore. So, Lori. I haven't seen Lori since uh, Christmas, so. Really? Yeah, she hasn't been up. So, huh. she's probably back to work and stuff, and I don't know. I'll have to message her and tell her to come up and visit with group mom, because mom likes visits. Tell her to take mom shopping again. Tell her to take her out for... Tell her. I'll tell her here. Take mom I out for dinner. Up, but I don't know where the heck to go. 
I'll tell her, here, take mom out shopping and take her for lunch. It's on me. Here's, you know. Bring it on. I'll, I'll give her like a good there. I'll pajamas, get her like maybe. a what? Air pajamas. <laughs> like I need more pajamas. <laughs> I mm -hmm. went to Walmart Monday. That's, the, that's it, the only day I've been out this week, Monday. And I went through the pajama section. I was looking. I put a thing in my buggy. I'm like, nope, put them back on the shelf and just went about my business. I got to buy some new bottoms because uh, I haven't bought any in a while. So I got to buy some because when my knees in the winter, it's uh, my knee bothers me bad. So I usually have to wear them in the winter. But I don't wear them like right now. I'm not because it's so hot in the house. The flannel what? ones or just the regular? No, ones? no, no. I don't wear like flannel. Me. I can't do flannel. I can't do flannel. I can't so. do fuzzy, fuzzy ones. I, I don't do flannel. I just want plain. Like I have, and my other ones I have are Ottawa Senators, and I used to have the Pillsbury Doughboy ones, um, but I can't find them anymore. So I don't know what happened to them ones. I don't have many left. I think they're pretty much. So I got to buy some new ones. So. I'll have to go to Wally World and buy some. I uh, I ordered Leo's birthday present today. He wanted um, earbuds. Oh yeah. Um, so that when he's at work, he can listen to a podcast or whatever. And I call, and he knew I was getting them, so it's not like a surprise. But um, when he called back later on, I said, "Listen, I bought the earbuds for your birthday." I said, "But." I said, we didn't get you the ones that just go in your ear. We got the ones that wrap around your ear because what he does for a living, he drops one earbud and it's gone. Yeah. He works in basements and crawl spaces and all that. So if we get him the wrap around, it won't come off. He goes, well, that's, yeah. that's a smart idea. I was like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I didn't think about that. I was like, Leo, we know you well enough to say, we ain't getting you just regular old earbuds because that's <laughs> we just throw the money out the door. Yeah, it's true. So he's excited though because that's what he wanted, and uh, I think I'm gonna get him a shower chair. He wants a shower chair. Right on. You know, help him with his mobility, getting it. Yeah, out mom has one. Weeks and Mom's I had one, one, but it was. I, I told Ram when we did our big clean out. Remember when we did the big clean yeah. out? It went then. Oh. So, and I, because Leo asked, and I'm like, I'm, I can't be positive, but I don't think we have that. So I went down cellar and I'm like, if, if we have it and it, then it has to be in with the tree, the Christmas tree. And I can't move that tree by myself. Yeah. Heavy. So he's like, no, no, it's okay. So, and Rand's like, have him look on Amazon. There's so many. I'm like, I'm not telling him to go look because I'm going to go look. And if yeah. I tell him to go look, he'll order one, and then I'll order one, and I'll be mad. Yeah, stuck with two. <laughs> well, I'd keep one here for me, but I don't need one right now. Yeah. Not going to Thing is, though, you don't even have to be old for them. I mean, you just, you know what I mean? You just, you can't, well, if you can't stand, you feel dizzy. Those, that the, chair, as ugly as it, it was, and how uncomfortable it was, it still helped. Yeah, my dad had one. My mom had my mom got a new one. I had to go up over the jacuzzi to get in. You know, the jacuzzi tub is so deep. Yeah. Oh, it was awful. I'm loving just the walk-in shower. I'm absolutely loving it. I, that's what I would prefer. I don't really care for a tub. Say hi if you're in the rafters. Come say hi to us. Everybody's just chilling and listening, I guess. Chilling. They're chilling. But uh, yeah. Hey. If I redo the bathroom, that's what I'm just going to put in a shower. Look at up on the bag. That's Look a cool piece of decoration you got up there. He doesn't move either. Oh, there it goes. It moved. Oh, woo. That's <laughs> <laughs> money. Get itchy eye. You got something in your eye. Yeah, mommy says I get a booger in my, my eye. Get a Kleenex. I'm going to have to call the vet. I'm um, not the vet. The groomers again real soon. I don't want to wait this time. Last, last groom, $95. Because it was around Christmas. And they did the pamper, which he always gets pampered. And it's usually about $80, bucks, 85 for us. Uh -huh. With tip, you know. 
freaking $95, not including tip. I said, damn, and he didn't even get the scarf he was supposed to get. He was supposed to get a Grinch scarf. Huh. Instead, he just got the Pet Smart scarf. Huh. And he kept it on for a few, couple of weeks. Huh. I was surprised. That's not normal. <laughs> Can you see him? He's just yeah. eyeballing me. He is a cutie. Don't side eye me. I said to you. Want some more meat, huh? The hamburger off the pizza. It he wants more food. treats. No more Hello, treats. Hello, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. How are you, girl? Yeah. We're not sure who's all in the I'm chat. Nobody's, nobody's talking to us. They just uh, we're just shooting the breeze. Yeah, we're just shooting the breeze because nobody's saying He's anything. Whining. Other than... He keeps looking for Rand. He sleeps on Rand's side, up against like here's the bed. He'll sleep. Here's Rand's side. Here's his pillow. He sleeps on the outside of his pillow, right on the very edge. <laughs> That's where he sleeps. Until tomorrow night. Then he'll be, as soon as Rand comes home, he'll be all over him. And I'll be useless. <laughs> right? You won't need me anymore. With his yeah, I know. Oh. Copper whines at the door when I'm outside doing stuff because sometimes I'm moving the truck around. I have to put the man in, and I'm like, "You got to go in. I got to move the truck and stuff because like I, I can't be out there." And then she gets pissy the other day when I went and took mom to the doctor that didn't take her. So what does she do? She she goes out and she tries to jump in the car. I said, "Get out of the car!" <laughs> yeah, I'm going one way or the other. She said, "I'm going." <laughs> I said, "It's too late. I'm parking the car now." <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Go for the parking. Yeah. Ollie, stop now. Stop. Go lay down. You uh you got an addiction to gnomes or something? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't see any gnomes. You got an addiction going on there? I don't know what you're talking about. You got an addiction going on over there, huh? <laughs> hmm. You got an addiction. You need to. You need to probably go get some help for that. Shit is full. <laughs> you don't have the t-shirt on or the shirt on either. No, I don't. Actually, it's it's clean though. Ram washed it before you went um, away. <laughs> Shit is full. I have the shirt to go with it. Dang it. My my good one is upstairs. My good one. That was it. Was so fun. I don't even know who this guy was. Somebody was auctioning it. And I was bidding, he was bidding against me and he kept bidding higher and I just, I bowed out and he said, send it to her. I don't even know who the guy was. <laughs> <laughs> never met him a day in my life. Yeah, you never know. <sighs> I keep looking over there. I look at the chat, but chat's not moving. Nobody's chit chatting tonight. Woo. I know it's very quiet in here. It is. What is up with that, folks? Oh no, no, everybody! This must be like a Thursday Magellan day or something. It, this, there's a lot of people live too. I don't know. I didn't even look because by luck that I was a good live. So, so I said to heck with it because I'm on schedule. I never schedule. <laughs> I'm just right. something different, I guess, for me. It's what I feel like it because I don't always feel up to it. Uh, how's your my mom's good? Mom's doing good. She went to her uh, hearing aid appointment. She went and got her hearing aid uh, remolded, so they sent off the mold so she could uh, get a new hearing aid. So we'll wait for that. Yes, I do. It's it's um when you have I have neuropathy in my feet, so my muscles will tighten up and my toes will be like this. Or like this, and you can't close them. Undo them; they hurt so bad. Hi, Kane Henry. Hello, Henry. 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 Is that like hungry, hungry Henry? Uh, I get them all the time, CDC, and it's not fun. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Between the neuropathy in my feet, my back, back, my hip, I'm just a Ooh. 
There's nothing worse than getting a cramp in the calf when you're trying to sleep and it wakes you from a sound sleep. Jump right out of bed and you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't suck. <laughs> no. Just saying. No. They're nice when you get out of bed and you jump out of bed like that. Uh -huh. It's just. It's just marvelous, marvelous. <laughs> I'll do um, leg exercises in bed. If I wake up in the middle of the night with a cramp, I'll do different leg exercises to help pull it out. I try to stick mine on the cold floor as soon as I can because it hurts. Yeah, shock it right through. <laughs> it hurts, so the cold floor helps it stop. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Yep. Stop it is right because it hurts. <laughs> and that really sucks. And I'm sorry you have to go through that. Oh, don't. It's okay. I'm hoping if I drink more water. Actually, that'll help a lot. Drink a lot more water. Yeah. Pamela, he's going home tomorrow. Yeah, he gets to go home tomorrow. Home, um, home with the buffalo. Water will help a lot. Um, but mine, CDC, mine is from between my diabetes. I didn't even know what the hell was going on with my feet when I couldn't feel them. I started freaking out. And they uh, sent me to a doctor and he told me it's neuropathy. It is very good news, Pamela. And he's going to be home for his birthday. So that's even better. His birthday is Saturday. But between, it's been years that I've been living with this CDC, so I'm just used to it now. It's just nature, you know. Anything above my normal isn't good. What are you doing over there? I'm looking. At what? Don't you start on me, woman. I hear packages. <laughs> I keep know. getting this thing from Timu for the, don't miss out. The exclusive item. It's one of those reborn dolls. I don't do dolls at all, first off. <laughs> I will, Pamela, I promise. I'm not a doll person, but it's one of those newborn dolls or whatever. I don't know. I don't do dolls either. $308.98. Yeah, like I'm going to add that to my cart. Sure. It even has like the little cord from the belly button and stuff. Ugh. Pass. Yeah, exactly. That's disgusting. I don't, I, I'm too old to be playing with damn dolls. I told you when I'm decorating your room with the uh, the scary ones, like the. No, uh, you're not. They're going all over the walls in there. They're they going to be looking at you. Hands. I'm going to make sure I put them right across, and you go to sit out of bed, and then you look at them, and a light will come on because I'll make sure that it's one emotion one. I know, right? CDC <laughs> it can't stand being old. <laughs> I just turned 58. No way. What? Almost 20 days ago. 18 oh, days wow. ago. No. I no. said 28. You didn't even catch me. I did. I said no, because it's not. <laughs> you were so full of it. You would just say no. 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 You didn't I caught me. it. I was like, yeah, she's not doing math right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, today's a non-math day. I don't oh, okay. have to do it like you. All right. That's okay then. <laughs> Tomorrow. Give or take. <laughs> you want to see the new mini house? What's well, not a house? It's a bakery. Yeah. A little kind of Show us. We want to see it. A little bakery. Come on. We want to see this it. You put all that work into it. Come on. We want to see it. I know. It's, well, it's not done because I have to set up the electrical. It's all set. I just got to wire it together. Are you union? I didn't think you, you couldn't do it if you're not union. I don't do what I damn well want to do. <laughs> Only union. Are you a union electrician? Are you in the union? Honey, I ain't an electrician at all. Let's hope the damn thing don't catch on fire. <laughs> She's going to burn it down. She's going to burn that little <laughs> house down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to show you the little register section because it keeps lighting. It needs to be glued down, but I had other things that were glued, and I had to make sure that they stayed. So... This is where the cash register is going to be. That's the cash register. And I made those roses. <laughs> okay, and then there's 
a few cakes. I have three more cakes I got to put on here, but these are the cakes. Teddy bears and cupcakes. That goes on top of there, like that. Then you have this. I have another cake that I'm making that has to go on this one. But that's a strawberry chocolate cake hmm. with strawberries. Look, they're even little strawberries. I can see it now because I enlarged it on my computer. So then I, uh, so that's what this whole section looks like. Thanks. I got to glue all this down. Now this is all the wirings in here and all that. The, the chairs aren't down yet. I'm still debating if I want to put a back on them or not. Okay. These are the chairs. You know, I forgot how to do stuff on here. <laughs> I got a shelf. With little recipes. And this right here, this cake right there, is going to be a light. So it's a light. light. And I have to wire it up tomorrow. I have the other parts over there. So I have everything together to wire. Pamela says, will them. you sell them, Maureen? If somebody's interested in buying them, they're more than welcome to. Yeah. I just enjoy sure. making them. Yeah. It's just for something to keep her busy and occupied. Yeah, that's so she, likes to, she likes to uh, build stuff like that. I like it because it's so small. But then I've got smaller. <laughs> so the chairs I'll glue on tomorrow. And the, the counter and the register and all that. Little cakes. Thank you, Pamela. You're so sweet. But yeah. So that's what I did today. So I did this. The only thing I had done before I started today was just the awning and the wall and the floor base. That's it. The rest I did today. So Busy, busy beaver. It was so much fun. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. These are my micro minis. <laughs> no problem, CDC. Look at how small those are. That is small. Oh, awesome. Okay, you ready? Do you want me to put you up for people can actually say here? Hold on. No, you're good. No, no, that's no, no. Hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. Good. Why you got to be up. like that? <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is small. Look at the tiny crap in here, man. Like, damn. That house looks like a hoarder house. I had to put all of it together. That's a lot of shit in that house. Oh, look at the fucking light in too, man. Damn, she's an electrician, guys. <laughs> damn. <laughs> And then they don't have their fronts on. They all have a front windows and doors, but they're not staying by the magnets that they send. They're too cheap. <laughs> so I'm going to put hinges on them so that they stay on. But then you can see through the top, this plastic there. And there's the light. Yep. Dang. Jeez. Look at the little plates right up in here. Even the doors, even the little doors yeah, in the back the open. Back here has a little doorknob, has a little Jeez. shelf wall hanging right there with a book on it. Jeez. Yep. Got a little hutch way in the back on this side. Way in the back. Yep. This is a basin. Okay, let's shut the lights off on you for now. I don't want to leave them on. Waste batteries. <laughs> money, you know. <laughs> Remember your parents out saying that? Damn, yeah, batteries yeah, cost yeah. money, you know. They don't come for free. Yeah, my mom still says it. <laughs> look at the look at the bookshelf in the back with all the stuff on it. And yeah, course, that's a lot of shit right there. This one has a red velvet couch over here. Supposed to have a chair clue, but I didn't want to make it. So I just took it. <laughs> well, sometimes they all the stuff that they want you to put in here, it's they like overwhelming fit. and too much. Be careful of telling Irene to hold on because Irene needs to find something to hold on to. <laughs> 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 
the unicorn. Hey, girl. Mm, hello, hello. Oh, say hi to me. She said hi to you. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I still said hello. She said hello, Irene. I know. Give it up. <laughs> but that's what I've been doing. And when Evie and I talk, that's what I do. I sit here and do my thing while we talk. And, and I usually try to come up and work on my you up here. That's what I try to do. Because sitting downstairs, there's not the watch on TV anymore. Uh, okay. You know, I, I'm even at that point. The the YouTube channels that I do watch you know, on a regular, you know, yeah, I'm getting bored. <laughs> Nothing exciting well, going on. Well, that's what I say. I mean, I get in front of the TV. I, I spend a half an hour trying to find something. And by the time I'm done, I'm like, oh, hell, I've lost interest. I uh, I watched a movie on Netflix yesterday. Something about a tsunami. I don't know. And this family, three boys, mom and dad. The tsunami came in. They were on vacation in this exotic place or whatever. I don't know where it is. And a tsunami came. And the two youngest boys and the dad were in the pool. The oldest son, probably about 13 maybe, was playing with a ball on the side of the pool. And then the mother was going to... He kicked the ball and she was going to get it, I think. And they all went in different directions when the tsunami hit. And I was like, oh, mm. my God. Well, it was a, it's based mm. on a true story. And this woman, man, I'm surprised she's living. Mm. She, um, she, her son, her oldest son was in the water free like she was. Yeah. And she was trying to get to him. She got stabbed. Her one whole left side breast was all ripped open underneath the bottom. Then mm -hmm. she had um, a big chunk taken out of the back of her leg. And she finally got a hold of her, her son. I mean, they, and when they finally got to a spot where they could actually get out of the water, the blood was pouring out of, the, out of her leg. It was terrible. And then they found another little boy who wasn't related. They just found this little boy, so they helped him. He was couldn't have been more than three. Wow. Well, they were trying to get up in a, into a tree, and because of her leg, she couldn't get up. So yeah. her son, 13-year-old, put his hands like this so he could give her a lift off, the, off her foot, and she was stepping on his shoulders and finally got her up in the tree. And he happened to find a Coke, a can of Coke. When they were doing something, he grabbed it and put it in his pocket. And then when they were up in the tree all safe, he was they were drinking the soda. But, of course, they had to come down from the tree. And then, uh, <laughs> they ended up, what goes up in the tree must come down in the tree. The locals. There was locals who came and uh, was bringing them to safety where the hospital was and all this other stuff and the one of it was an old man and he had her under her arms and he's yanking her and she's in so much pain i mean her eyes were all black and blue and beat the crap that she got in the went 10 rounds with somebody in the ring not me <laughs> jeez it was it was they ended up losing the little boy somewhere in, the, I don't even remember where or how. They're in the hospital and she needs surgery. Um, they thought that she might lose her leg. They did the first surgery on her, her breast and they were like, she's not, she lost so much blood. She's not strong enough to go through another surgery. But she needed another one for the back of her leg. I mean, the, the chunk, it, it was so, and it was just pissing blood. I'm like, wow. And then, uh, of course, the father's now looking for them. He's still at the motel or hotel, what's left to it. And they're bringing in helicopters to bring out all the, you know, people that are hurt and all that. And 
he was out looking, he come back in and he's, he looks up and there's a big hole in the ceiling and there's a guy there and he's like, um, anything you know, maybe more tomorrow. Meaning he was looking for his oldest son and his wife. And he's like, where are they? And he's like, right here. And the boys to the two youngest were right there. They got up in a tree and were hanging on for dear life. Oh, wow. Neither one of them had any kind of boo-boos or sores, nothing. Yes, got lucky. <sighs> Dang. Uh, it was just crazy. And then there, the father's trying to find, going to all these different hospitals looking for his wife. You know, the list and all that stuff they do when somebody's lost and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so her 13-year-old her son was still with her. And she told him to go help people because that's what you're good at yeah and he's like i can't leave you and she's like i'll be right here i'm not going anywhere kind of thing and uh so he went and this guy was he had to have been polish because the language was more and uh he was just saying his son's name and so he wrote it out on a piece of paper and he went looking and he's yelling out the name and then somebody else is like, this person. So he's writing. And he's had a whole <laughs> list of names. He goes down like three flights down. I mean, this place was like mm. you see when there's a, a, you know, catastrophe. I mean, it, the hospitals are just overwhelmed. Yeah. So he went down three floors yelling this name. And all of a sudden the kid's there. So he got the kid, the father, back with that kid, you know, not related to them. And then he goes back to tell his mother, and she's not there. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> He's flipping out. And they're not telling him where she is. Um, this aide comes in and asks his name, brings him to this, the, the children's tent. It's just kids. No adults <laughs> other than people that are working. And what that's where he saw. Oh no, they put his name on his shirt, and he's like, Why why are you doing that? Just so we know who you are. Thinking mm. if there's another, you know, tsunami. Mm -hmm. Um yes. so then he's going to get some water. He finally found his mother. The woman found his mother for him and he went to his mother and she kept asking for water. And so he had to run through the hospital looking for water. And as he's doing it, he went to go grab a bottle of water and he sees his father two floors down. So he runs and he's screaming, dad, dad, and he's running. And he gets down to the bottom. He can't find him. He's still running through the crowd yelling dad and dad. And he stopped and he's looking around. He's trying to see his father. And he, he yelled out um, his two brothers were on the back of this truck and they yelled, Jake. And all of a sudden the three boys were reunited. Hmm. As they're doing that, his father comes walking towards them. So now you got the father and the three boys all found and the mother. So she had to go back into surgery again. And then they put her on a big, giant plane with just them and the kids. Yep. It was really good. I pretty much told you the whole story, so now you don't have to watch it. <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> it's a good movie. I like I like true stories based on a true story. Well, I watched one, remember? I watched the uh, the kid that was, uh, mine was back in the, like, what did I say? It yeah, was black 15? and white. You were watching black and white. No, it wasn't black and white. It was back, I said it was back in, uh, uh, you was said it, it was in black and white. No, I said they were watching a black and white TV. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they were like, watching black and white. Your movie was in black and white. <laughs> no, but it had to do with a baseball player. But he was just a kid and he had uh, braces on his legs. I remember like Forrest Gump had to wear it was like that. And his yeah. father was a minister of whatever you want to call it anyhow. And he didn't believe in that, you know, 
right. playing baseball or whatever it was, you know, right. but he convinced his father and he says, that's what he says, but he says, I can do both. He says, God's telling me, he gave me this talent, you know, so why would I waste it if, if I'm supposed to play baseball? But right. everything that could possibly happen to this poor kid happens. Like he gets, he gets to the point where it was actually a scout. And he ends up breaking his ankle. And then he's got a deteriorating back of his, uh, his spine is deteriorating. It was called, what was it called? Something Hill. Um, but that was his last name, Hill. He was actually, it was based on true story because he, he was actually a baseball player. And he actually did make it to the, um, you know, big times. He ended up being uh, grabbed up by the, uh, the Montreal Expos. So he was Canadian he played for. And it was 19, I, I can't remember. I really was, do like watching true you know based on true stories yeah. and well that one there like i said i was like dang the poor guy man but he didn't play for long he only played for four years and then he had to stop because he something happened to his back really bad and he was it was so bad that he had to quit he just couldn't do it anymore so he ended up later on he just ended up coaching he was so he ended up coaching oh that's just as good because he couldn't he couldn't play anymore have you ever seen the movie um the boy in the striped pajamas I've heard of it, but no, I haven't watched it. Oh, that's the Holocaust kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Wow, I, I don't know I, that movie, but man, it really to think what these people went through. Yeah, it's crazy. It is. You know, the only that's reason movie, if, if you were Jewish and uh, you were still alive in those days, on the fly. Oh, how are you doing? If you were still alive and you were Jewish, it was only for one reason, because uh, Hitler needed you because you had I mean, an amazing mind and you were a scientist or something. Or, or otherwise, you were in the furnace because he had no use for you. And uh, he had a hate for them. Happens. Yeah, it's sad. He had a hate for all of them and he didn't care. He used you for what he needed and that was it. You were to him, it was pretty much like, you know, nothing. Yep. I came to look for my... Dang license plate. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> did you send her one and it's not up there yet oh all my life plate. everybody that sent me something is on the walls or it's up top so all <laughs> the row every one of them all my plates so they're Mine's all there. there twice yep they're all there they're all up there guys if you sent a plate they're already up those I automatically, as soon as I unwrap them and put their names on the backs of them, if you don't put your name on them, then I put the name on them, and then they're put on my my wall. So, yep. I don't mess around. <laughs> you? <laughs> no, I got the space for it now, so I just keep on adding to it. So, like I said, I've got to put another uh, another one up so I can start another row underneath there. Yep. So. Eepers. Well, last year, four of them, remember? Yeah, all the lights are up there. Everything that's uh, that was been sent to me, they're all over there on the walls. Everything. I don't miss around because I like to get them up on my walls. They look good up on my wall. I think they look really cool up there, all of them. They do look good up there. So, and like I said, I'll extend it all the way across. It'll be all the way right here because I got a space here for a little bit, but I got a couple yep. more for that to extend it across. And I got room for two more there. Do more rows on the bottom, which I think I get eight plus whatever I get on the other end. Plus, I still have room on this one again behind me. So, and then of course, you know, I'm still working on my Funkos. I mean, I made another shelf over there. I'm thinking of putting another little shelf over there. And then, you know. She has to make another shelf, whether she wants to or not. I am making another shelf. I got them. I got to. Said you have to take some measurements. To. Take some measurements over there, and then I'll. Uh, I got to get a couple brackets, but I don't have it. I'm pretty sure I have some up there in the shop because I always say brackets. Like I said, any scrap of the rest ever buy screws, nails, or brackets and stuff, it's because, <laughs> <You're doing> they're, <laughs> it's because they're dumbasses and throw it all in scrap because that yeah, stuff, you man, you can reuse it. <laughs> I never buy screws, nails. I don't buy any of this stuff. I do, but I'm not a scrapper. No, but I, I, I'm not allowed if I to. Need <laughs> if I need to put something together, it might be like, you know, um, different things, a bolt, nut, screw, whatever. And I don't care as long as I put it together, as long as it's outside and doing something. My you daughter, I mean? Jackie and Randy both say you're not allowed to go near nails or a hammer. Oh, my. Yeah. There were so many ha um, 
nail holes in the bathroom walls because I had decorations up top. And then oh. one year I put lights all through there. And there was nails oh. all over the place. I just left oh. them up right there. Dang. So she's like, Mom, you're not allowed a hammer or nails. No, I put screws in mine. When I, I do the drywall ones here, I make sure they're screws so I can just take my drill and just take them back out. So, and I can well, patch them. So it doesn't matter. Out and build the hose. What's the big deal? I can patch all my own stuff because I don't. Nobody does my passion for me. I do all that myself. My daughter did it. She did a bang up job. I get it. Do it all. Looks really, really good. I was watching. Um, Karen's at Walmart <laughs> and and people who try to steal at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy. I was watching some weird stuff. Did I you buy a lot of screws, did you? Let's see. I wish I had the money I spent on wood screws. Why? Did you buy a lot of screws, did you? Dang. Well, the only time we bought some screws was when we did the deck, but that was different. That was, you know, wood screws for the deck. But yeah, that's, that's different. different, though. Yeah, that was for a project. Like, I mean, when I do stuff for the goats and stuff, it's product, it's stall materials and stuff I usually have around here. I just revamp everything I already have. So, yeah. and then people are always giving me stuff. Like sometimes, like people will have a half a bag when they do a project and they'll put it in the garage and they'll be like, you know what? This has got to go. Yep. And I'm like, okay, cool. And it maybe it's only like, Thank I mean, they're like, well, it's not enough for do anything. But I put it in a container, and then when I'm doing a small roof, like a goat roof or a small roof, it's perfect for what I need. I don't got to buy any. And this stuff's expensive. I like feeling like I can build stuff, even though I know I can't. <laughs> and I shouldn't. <laughs> I like it. That's why I bought these. I mean, these little hinges, wait till you see them. They are, I kid you not, about that big. They are the tiniest hinges I've ever seen in my life. I'm a scrapper, but I don't come across a lot of wood. Yeah, I'm remodeling a mobile home on my, on some property. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, see, I get a lot of free wood from, like, some of the skids and stuff. Like, I built those, the buildings, like, that building across here, I built it all with skids. I built the, um, the, the goat one and then all the two by fours and stuff that I had. People give me free tin, so that's what I used for the roof. I used two by, well, actually, um, yep. Terry Lee's ex, he ended up working for like, um, he does decks and stuff. Well, he ended up saying, do you want all this? And I'm like, yeah, because he works for like houses yeah. that are like millions, like they're like wealthy, right? So they don't want no board that isn't like, if it's cracked, it's got to go. They don't want yeah. it. If so they can't keep any of this stuff, they can't use it. So being left outside, it cracked and stuff. I said, this is great. It works. For, it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. I said, I'll use it for the go group. Those so small the projects that you do around the farm house. Yeah. You know, Free lumber. I'm always picking up free lumber. One time I was in town picking up, I think it was a dryer, and somebody literally dragged a full sheet of plywood out to the road. And I'm like, I looked at that and I'm like, heck yeah, goes with me. Just laid that baby right in there and I loaded my dryer and I was a god. <laughs> I was like, free? <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, people just. I don't know. We live in a very wasteful society. Like, I mean, me. We really, really do. I have pails and nails. I have pails and stuff that's up there in the buildings. And you know what? When I need them, I can go up and grab a handful or whatever. It didn't cost me anything. So, and same with screws. I'm going to color while we talk. What? No. You need to come to Canada, man. Come to Canada. You'll see all the free stuff you get here. Come and, and you can live, if you want, you can live in bum nowhere because I'll tell you, the land is cheap when you I live in God's country. Oh, when you live oh. in God's country, it's, it's cheap, I'll tell you, in God's country. But be prepared to be dealing with wild animals and little deer flies and black flies and all that stuff eating your head off. And then buggers, when they bite, boy, whoo! They bite. Hmm. A lot of good land around. Like I said, a lot of our, a lot of like Canada's proper, a lot of land in Canada is just not in half. It's like people don't live That's there. That's what I brought downstairs. I don't know. What did you bring downstairs? Your. Oops, it's upside down. Oh, what is that? I don't know. What is that? My yeah. knife. <laughs> Your knife? Your knife? My knife. Your knife. My knife. Yeah, they're nice to have. Buy me one. <laughs> I used me one today. I used mine today when I was doing my wearing on my uh, my lift. I see scrap. 
out in my city all the time, but I live in a pretty big city. Yeah. You know, it's more what it's big. So. No, 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 no. I'm kind of waiting for the yeah. snow to kind of dissipate here because I'm like buried in it. Like I can't do a lot. You can't handle the I can't handle the cold. I can't handle the cold. Nails, screws, nuts, bolts. Well, you can do so many, so much stuff with that though. You can do crafts with nuts and bolts and oh yeah. And they're always good to have on hand. Minus 40 is not bad. Come on. Minus 40? Heck no. <laughs> on. We, don't, we don't get minus 40 all the time. I mean, minus 18 is, you know, and then, you, you know, you get your wind chill. And, friend. I don't want uh, it. You get used to it after a while. You just dress warm. Oh, you just get dressed warm. You have to dress warm for it. Besides, when I'm outside, it's not like I'm standing around, so I just go outside. I'm working, so I'm already hot. I come back in. Mom says, and my, my usually my toque is soaked. My hair is soaked. Mom's like, well, was it raining? I'm like, no, Mom. I'm just, and I'll take her hand and rub my, my forehead. She's like, ew. I'm like, yeah, Mom. That that's can, not rain. That's just sweat. Her head seems. Hello, Laura. Hi, Laura. Yeah, I just, uh, Laura, I don't find it really cold if I'm working. Laura. I haven't even been to the shop. I haven't been up to the work in the shop at all this winter yet. Wow. I've got so much stuff. Hi, hey, What's up, homies? I got so much work out in here in this other building. And plus, oh, whatever I'm bringing right. home. I don't know. I guess I just not, I'm not hungry enough, I guess. Not until I need to buy something. She's waiting for her lawnmower to go down. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for my lawnmower. I already got the money for that. That was like, you know, gift cards for Christmas I got. So, <laughs> Let's see. The lowest we get in our areas is minus 15. It is in the fold is here. Crazy. Guys are crazy. It's... We don't get oh, minuses yeah. here very often. Because it's not. It was like, what, minus eight yesterday? Today, I don't think. It was probably like minus two, maybe minus one here today. Maybe. So, I mean, I wouldn't run around without a jacket on because I wouldn't want to get sick. But it was, you know, it was decent it was today. It 50 degrees here today. That yeah. I just don't like the freezing rain we had yesterday. That was sucky. Yeah, that's scary, though, because it turns to ice. Yeah, well, that's it is now. Every, all the snow out there is all covered in a nice coating of ice. And I'm hoping we don't get any overnight because I kind of like to get rid of the scrap that I got on the back of my truck. I haven't been to the scrapyard in uh, three weeks. Well, she was on, she was grounded. Mom made her stay in the house for a couple of days. Yeah. And then I escaped. You escaped all right. I escaped. Yeah. I had to go get goat food, dog food. I had to go get all that stuff. And then I paid for it that night. Because now my shoulder was killing me. See, that's the only time she allows her out. <laughs> no, I went out today. I went out and got uh, a load of scrap today. Yeah, but I saw that. The lift, but the lift is permanently on the truck for now, for now, because I'm not lugging on anything. I'm just pushing up to the, the lift, and that's it. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be lugging on anything right now with your shoulder. So I'm not. I'm just pushing it on, but I got to get a load out. I mean, I got scrap literally lined all the way up the, you know. Yeah, but uh, the roads have been—we've had really crappy weather. The roads have been bad, so I don't really go anywhere. I mean, other than if I know the roads, I mean, I don't mind going to town, but I don't know. I go to town, pick up my scrap, and I do a little bit of shopping. Yeah, with the wind chill, yes. Yeah, we had, like I said, what last week but it was minus. Part, we don't get minuses. Yeah. Thank God for this chicky. I may be well insulated, but it's still damn cold. See, I don't normally mind the regular cold, but I don't want that deep freeze stuff. I sure was on my shoulder. I just know it hurts and I can't lay on it. I'm having the same problem, but I'm going to my doctor's in a couple of days, so <laughs> they're going to do some x-rays. <laughs> Mm. Uh, that's for you know 
candy asses to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling a candy ass? Yeah, you candy ass. <laughs> yeah, but see, I'll be better, and you'll mm. still be bad. No, mine's almost, it's much better than it was. The, uh, Don't worry it's a hell of a lot better now. I'm not running around with the sling on it, because the exactly. sling helped from you, you haven't been running around. You just haven't done anything. So that's why it feels better. But once you get back to doing what you normally do, you'll be, oh. And I will say again, go to the doctor. <laughs> and she'll say to me again, no. Uh, avoid doctor as much as possible. Yep. That's pretty much mine. I haven't been the doctor since I uh, last threw my back out. And that was before I think I started YouTube. Yeah. Before I started YouTube. I've been to the doctor. I have, yeah, I haven't seen the doctor for anything. So, how long have I been on YouTube? However, how long have it was before I, I way before I, I think. So, at three, four, was that three or four years? Anyhow, I don't get a lot wrong with me other than just normal aches. I know I hurt my back, but I haven't even been to him to get pills or anything because I just don't. So, I get up as long as I get moving. My body straightens out and I can continue. Works out fine. Just got to keep moving. I'm going to give you fine. You're going to what? Smack <laughs> into reality. It is. That is reality for me. It works fine. And then she's at a commission for three, four days, and then she's back to work fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I got fine. I'm fine. I'm going to be fine soon. That and I'm kind of, well, the weather's been really bad too. We've had uh, snow, what, off and on snow, freezing rain for the for last couple of weeks. Yeah, for a couple of weeks we've been dealing with it. And we've only had the odd nice day. And it's like a dig out day. So you have like a decent day just to do the dig out because you do what you can while it's still snowing. But then I got to clean all the vehicles up, move all the vehicles, push all the snow. So that's kind of, that's the day. You know, and then of course I have to haul wood, so that's like another day gone. So, but I was lucky. The brother-in-law he came in with two dump truck loads for me, so I didn't have to worry about that because he knew I hurt my shoulder. But I got a text that morning saying, Charlie says to me, "Oh, um, you can come get that wood." I said, "I can't." I said, "I can't even get out of bed." I said, "My shoulder's so bad." So then Peggy tells Charlie and tells George, and they end up. Peg, George texts me back. Say, Peggy does and says, uh, "George will be over with the dump truck load." <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, it's not like I can do anything. Uh, you know? You couldn't. Nope. You know? Well, Terry Lee would have loaded it, but how would I got it off my truck? Yep, I was live. <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming in. Newsmatic. Newsmatic. Mm. Or skipper. The skipper. Yep, the skipper. Yep, the skipper. I haven't even been live on my other channel. I should go back to doing lives on it again. I gotta. I haven't even been to the bank to order nothing. I had just. I honestly haven't really been anywhere. I've been just chilling at home and just tiddling and fiddling around here, and because I only got one hand, so I've been making sure my other, what my other shoulder rests and stuff. And I had, like I said, in a sling, so I wasn't dragging it around. Having it up in it made it easier, so then it wasn't like there was pressure. You know what I mean? So she was faking so she didn't have to cook. Uh, no, that didn't even work. I still had to get up and do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I still had to do that too. I was still wouldn't have got away with it. I've been sitting doing pretty much nothing. Well, I did a lot of cleaning. Yeah, I got a dumb doctor too. I one time I went to the doctor and it was uh he said I had uh a cold. He gave me cough medicine and we had to go to the after I drank I, I literally went through the cough medicine and still had it. Went to the after hours clinic, he says, Oh, you got strip throat. <laughs> I said, Wow, that was many, many years ago. That was, was essentially why I don't want to go to him over there. So last I'm time scared. I went to the doctor was for my back and he says me, he says, Well, it's been a while. 
That was, he says, when was the last time I said, when I had my hysterectomy, I said, and I came to you because I needed a specialist. I said, I needed a, a gynecologist. He says, oh yeah, he says. So I get in there and he says to me, he says, what do you need for your back? He says, he says, and he starts ramming off all these medications. He says, how about we just give you the stuff they gave you in the hospital when you had your hysterectomy? And I'm like, no, the house was burning down. <laughs> I said, I didn't want that stuff. So he was like, literally, he's telling me all these, like all these different, like I'm thinking, finally, he said one of the tier says, he says, if he says this one, take it. So I'm like, I'm listening. I'm listening. That one I said, that's the one. I couldn't remember what it was until, you know, she's it went off. So I was like crazy. You know, it's just like, what a doctor. I mean, he probably could, he probably would have given me anything to get me out of there. You know? That's and, uh, what some of them do. They're just there. And to I'm like, that's not going to help my problem. So this is why I don't like going to him because it doesn't know nothing. What he calls strip throw to common cold. I told you, I, I, you know what? I did call the doctor. And you know what I got? Oh, you got, you got the big C. And that's what I got from the receptionist. You got the C. I said, essentially, I said to her, I said, this is, is why I don't call the doctor. Yeah. Bye. They blame everything the, you know, everything is the C. Around, everything was the C. If you fart crossway, you've got the C. <laughs> Ooh, wait, I feel like I got the runs. Oh, that's the C you got. Sorry. Dang. Flat sideways. <laughs> you know, my eyes are crossway. I got kicked in the head by a mule. You've got the C. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's oh, ridiculous. Hello, D. We got Dan. Hey, D. Dan, 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 Dan. Yeah, I'm losing it. I've been alone all week with a dog. That's my talking companion. <laughs> I don't have one of your stickers. Huh? Newsmatic, I don't have one of your stickers over there. See it? Not on my back wall back well, there. Then the you head, my head is. No. That's my sticker board over there. No, I don't have one of yours. No, not that no. big C. No, we're talking about the one that, you know, went on for three the years. Other one. The other one that we're not supposed to mention on here. That's but, crap. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, or you have arthritis with di uh, diabetes. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, I, I know I have arthritis because, uh, my I know I have diabetes. <laughs> yeah. My mom has diabetes. Oh, well, my whole family has diabetes. My whole family is bad. Pat Tam yeah. has it. I, well, I don't know about Sharon. Sharon, I don't know about, like I said, but um, both my brothers had it. My dad had it. My mom's a diabetic. Um, Peg's, well, she's, like I said, she's on a waiting, well, waiting list for Yep. So, and like I said, <laughs> with the way the treatment's going with my shoulder, I'm thinking, yeah, I don't know who's going to look after mom and I if I have surgery. Peggy says, well, I'll have to come over and fill up the stove and stuff. I said to myself, well, isn't that something? I said, wow. Call it the little C. There you go, the little C then. Yeah, that's the one. If it, yeah, three, yeah, you got that. That's the one. That's what we're talking about. That's the one. That is it. Yeah, yeah it's true. You, you can't even go to the doctor without them. You know, and while still here, when we went to the hearing, when we went to mom's uh, um, hearing doctor, we have to wear masks. When my mom went to her health doctor, because we took my mom to, to her doctor, it was it last Friday, because she has, um, she has, uh, what is it called? Like um, in her, in her where well, she was coughing up. Oh, I can't think of what's called. Hello, Josie. Um, she had like bronchitis or something in her chest. So she got an antibiotic for her because mom says, she says, I'm not feeling good. Call my doctor. So I called the doctor and uh, she uh, had that. So they gave her, she gave her a prescription for that. So my mom's on that right now. And then uh, hopefully it helps it out instead of her, you know, before it sets into like an ammonia or ends right. up something else. Because my mom always gets sick.
Yeah, that's the root of all your aches and pains. Yeah, well, my doctor doesn't uh, tell me. I tell my doctor, and if he doesn't do what I tell him, then him and I, uh, you know, so. Uh, hence what I don't go to see him because he's useless, but he's all right if you need pills, if yeah, it's that, that bad. That, that like, my back, doctor, my back was bad. I didn't have any choice. I had to because I couldn't even walk. I was in tears. I was sitting literally straight up when I hurt my back. Terry literally came yeah. over because I couldn't get up. So she comes over to get me and she she called the doctor. I didn't even call the doctor. She called the doctor. She says, You're, you need to go to the doctor now. She drove me over and I ended up, he's like, well, what's wrong? I could barely, every step was like. Torture. Yeah. To walk yep. down to, you know, to sit and he's like, oh, what's the matter? I hurt my back, dumbass. I'm thinking to myself, you're a dumbass. <laughs> no, I always walk you like a shit myself. You know, he, he like, yeah, she's stupid things like, and I'm walking so slow, like I shit myself down, you know, down the hall to get to his, his office. <laughs> no, I always walk like this because, you know, I'm 80 years old and I can't, you know. You know, and they know what you're, you're called for because you, they always ask you, so what's wrong? Yep. You know, he already knows he's looking, the, the paper's looking him in the face. I, I should have just said, I should have just taken the paper and said, what? You can't see it? Your glasses not working? You stupid? <laughs> God, they frustrate me though. They do the same to my mother. We're just numbers. That's all it is. We're numbers. Well, that, my mom's doctor down there, she's not doing that no more because I tell you, <laughs> That's since I've been calling her. She calls me back. Because she knows if something happens to mom and she doesn't call me back, it's her responsibility. Yeah. She's, mom's not a senior citizen that just gets tossed in the corner. No. Like she was in the hospital. My mom had care in the morning from somebody from my family was there. Uh, Lori was there from the morning. Yep. So when Peggy yeah. got there or when Terry... Tara Lee got off work, and then from when Tara Lee or April, whatever was in there, then I went in at 5 o'clock, and I was there till 9.30 at night. The only time my mom was left alone was bedtime to the morning. That was it. The nurses didn't like it, because when we wanted something, we were on them. They're just used to slapping the old seniors around wherever they want and do whatever. Yep, that's exactly what it is. They're and it didn't happen. much going on in the chat or was just talking about it yeah but i mean like i said it's just it, some doctors man it's just ridiculous it'd be nice to find a decent doctor but they're all gone anyhow there's like i said it's like veterinarians today veterinarians don't give a crap about your animal they're just numbers too you know they get they don't tell you the side effects if they say oh your doc your dog your, your dog needs this they never tell you what's you know the side effects right I remember when I was younger, we used to load her because we used to have a watchdog. We always had a dog inside a big, a big, huge dog. I mean, a big watchdog. And he was in his dog house and all that, right? Well, every year, or I think it was twice a year, once a year, the veterinarian would volunteer his time and it would be over at the, at the church. And you could go over and get your shots for free. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's that what I remember. Doing that. Yeah. Good luck. Veterinarian exactly. today. They don't volunteer nothing. They don't give nothing. It's just like doctors. Our society is just, you know, nobody does anything for anybody anymore. I don't know what they'll do when everything, if everything ever crashes, it'll be back to the barter unless you've got gold and silver because the, the pony ain't going to be worth nothing. You might as well just burn it because they ain't going to be worth nothing. <laughs> and everybody that's got millions and thousands of dollars in the bank, uh, you can kiss that goodbye. Gold and silver, guys, is the way to go. Gold and silver. Gold. Silver and gold. Silver or gold. 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 Silver. Where's that? It? There's a vet online that gives home. It's for him. There's uh there's actually one that's out west. I can't remember if it's um Alberta. Um, one of our other provinces and she goes around, but it's a, t it's, it's actually built off a TV show, but she is real and she goes from town to town. She has a mobile system and she goes to poor towns and it's a lot of it's indigenous. So she goes from town to town and then she actually fixes dogs, dogs that are like, um, strays and stuff. She tries to catch them, cats, anything, and she'll make sure that they're fixed so they don't, you know, keep kicking it more into the yeah, population, yeah, into their towns. Yeah, exactly. And then they, 
And then she has a big lineup from the town people that need shots or if they need surgeries or if they need to be fixed. And she does all this. I think, I can't remember what it's called. My mom used to watch it all the time. And I always called my mom. I said, you know what? If I won the lottery, I said, I would definitely bank rail. I would help that woman out, man. I would be like, you know what I mean? Because we need more veterinarians like of that. Not these veterinarians that are all about the money grab. I'm serious. They're just, it's so bad. Like it just, it, you, you really got to think about if you want to have an animal. Yep. Because of the vet bills, the food, you know what I mean? It's very it costly. That's right. It is. And it's not it, like the people don't, it just doesn't, they don't care. They don't care about the animals and they don't care about the, uh, the pea human people anymore. You'd be lucky if you find a good doctor nowadays. You get them on occasion when they're called specials. I had a really good one. I had a really good gynecologist when I got my hysterectomy. She was really good. She had a good sense of humor. She was really good. And Dr. James was probably one of the better ones, but unfortunately she did retire, but, uh, she was definitely, and the one that uh, actually uh, delivered me, delivered Tara Lay. How about that for a doctor? That's how long he'd been in doing delivery for babies and stuff. How's that? I couldn't believe that. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, sweet. Right on. There is, like I said, there's the odd one, but not too many. But like I said, I remember... When we used to have that every year, we used to load because we could never, because the big dog, right? He was always a handful. So you have to load him up in the vehicle to get him over to the, the church. But he never, like, he didn't, you know, bite anybody. Like, he just was a handful to, you know, because he was so big. 300 euros. Dang. That is, but that seems like a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> Dang. Um, you know. I don't know, man. It's just. Like I said, you want to have pets today, you got to be rich. Just like if you want to have kids, you got to be rich too. I just got, um, for Ollie, he's, he goes through PetSmart for his grooming, and his doctor is in there too. And I just started with them, and I bought him an insurance plan that I pay yeah. like $30 a month or whatever. And he gets his shots and all that included and he gets as many vi visits to the vet as needed i mean and now he, i gotta go take him out he's gonna go potty all right yeah I, I know they have something like that here um but i'm not sure exactly where you can i don't i think walmart has one too like that it's called like insurance or whatever but i don't know my mom keeps telling me i need to look into it for my dogs because i have too many <laughs> next should be telling me i need to look into it for my goats <laughs> mm. But that's a different kind of veterinarian. See, there's livestock veterinarian, and then there's like a dog, like um, I don't know how you call it. Like there's there's different types of veterinarians. Um, and um, livestocks are different, and they're more expensive, like really, really expensive. Like I'll tell you, when I first got the goats, um, they needed to be um, uh, it was a dewormer had to do for them because they were um, you had to wait till they were a certain age, and then they had to have their first dewormer. They only get dewormed twice a year. And you can always tell if they need to be dewormed because there's signs that you watch. And you, when you spend time with your animals, of course, you know, right? Well, I knew mine had to be dewormed. So I called a veterinarian. And uh, I, I don't have a veterinarian for livestock, right? Because it's different than animals. So I called him and he's like, yep, the, the separate receptionist is me. Yep, uh, we can do that. And uh, I said, all I need is dewormer. Oh, no, no, no. Our veterinarian has to come out and he has to... Uh, Look at your animals. I said, for what? Well, that's how we, uh, you know, establish, you know, the client, you know, with our veterinarian thing. I'm like, I said, how much is this visit going to cost me? I believe she told me it was like 180 some dollars for a visit. I said, oh, I said, and how much is it going to be for the uh, dewormer? And she didn't show me about that. I'm like, gangsters, I said. Mm. I said, that's a little bit, I said, just to come out and say, yep, your, go your ghosts look good. I said, that ain't happening. She said, well, you can call around. I said, yeah, don't you worry. I'm going to call around. So I ended up calling, uh, it's like a local feed store we have here. And she knows quite a bit about like horses, goats and all this stuff. And I went down and seen her and she ended up giving me like an over the counter 
it works fine to warmer. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. I said, oh, wow. I said, you just think I fell off the turnip truck, don't you? I've been on a farm. I grew up on a farm. I ain't that stupid. So, but people that get into stuff, they just don't know, right? Same with animals. You know, it's like whatever your vet says, right? No. It's like kids, right? They, it's like, how do I explain? People can suggest things, but it's a suggestion. It's not the law. They're yours to do what you want. They tell me that my dog needs something, something. I'm going to do a little research from now on. I do research on that stuff now. What's in it? What's going on? What are you planning? I want pamphlets because I've been down that road. Been lied to. Yeah. My first uh, Jack Russell. She got cushions because of a needle. She said, oh, she needs it. Cause she had an allergy. I could have got an all purpose, like an all natural. Yeah. Never again. So I don't listen to veterinarians. I'll research everything from now on that goes into my dogs. Cause I don't trust them. Some of them just want to sell you stuff to do whatever they, you know, probably it's probably just like doctors, right? Certain prescriptions. If they can get away with it, they'll, they'll charge an arm and leg. Thank God. We, a lot of us here have healthcare and stuff, but I mean, we don't get prescriptions for free. You have to pay for them unless you have it in your plan or whatever. Thank God I have on my own. So, I mean, if you don't, uh, well, welfare gets it for free. Um, but I mean, if you were just like, say, if you were unemployed and you didn't pay, pay for a plan, you'd have to pay for it in your pocket. So, it's not cheap. Healthcare for us just covers our, um, what, hospital um, doctor visits and you don't pay, but we pay for, um, dental glasses, but apparently they're saying that we're supposed to be dental will be free by 2025 for all Canadians. I think it's shit. I think it's just something the liberals are bringing in for, they can get reelected 2025. That's what I think. Just another crock of more money he's spending. He hasn't spent enough billions of dollars already giving it all away. So but I have dental on my uh, plan or I wouldn't have it because I don't work for anybody. I work for myself. Being self-employed is hard because you have to pay for it. It's kind of essentially like being a business. You got to pay for it for your employees. Some people are my, you know, essentially I'm the business. So I'm paying for my employee, which is me. <laughs> but one good thing, at least we can go, you know, to the hospital, you can go to merge and you don't got to worry about coming out and saying they own your house because you know, you, you had a procedure done or if you have an operation, you don't have to worry about it. It's going to be twenty, thirty thousand dollars or whatever. You know what I mean? Pay the rest of your life, try to pay it off. So that's all free for us. She's back. She's heading back. <laughs> hmm. And some do. I think the one Tara Lee has does both. They do domestic and livestock. And uh, yeah, I would never go to that one because they're way overpriced. There's some vets that they literally can set their own prices. So, and that's what that one does. Get out uh, of his collar. Uh, his neck is getting too small. Not enough hair to hold it on. That's, yeah, that's too big. Yeah, yeah. not enough hair there to hold it on because you got to cut it all off. Yeah, every time he gets a haircut, I have to put his harness on him because his leash, I mean, his collar won't fit. <laughs> well, you made his smaller. I had to make hers bigger. <laughs> <laughs> She's, her neck, again, Tara Lee did it once. I just did it again because her neck is getting, yeah. Hopefully that's the only collar I got to buy. She keeps going. I may have to buy one for, I don't know what, a monster. <laughs> Hi, Sally. Sally. Don't look at me for a treat. Go. We what? Used, um, two years ago, we found a rabbit just kind of jumping around our yard. We had a skunk family. Little tiny skunks. They're the cutest things ever. Yeah. Little tiny suckers. Well, last year we had three rabbits. rabbits. Today we just went outside and there was a rabbit in front of my car and he... Went over there to get him and damn run jumping across my yard. <laughs> Your cotton tail's coming too early. 
It ain't Easter yet. You can beat her gut and do. Oh, why, I watched why another movie. I, you don't deserve you want to watch it. a funny movie if you like dogs, guys? As long as you don't mind profanity. This movie is not meant for kids. It's called Strays. It's on, uh, what's it on? Prime. It's on Prime. Go watch it, guys. Oh, my God. You will laugh your butts off, man. It is funny because all it is is dogs talking. And it's got voices from different, you know, characters from, you know, movie stars and stuff. Funny. These guys really need to go watch it. It's hilarious. It's called Strays. I didn't watch it. It kept popping up, popping up. I thought, ah. Uh, uh. And I thought, well, I'm bored tonight. And I finally watched it. Tara Peggy was watching. She's like, I think I'd like to finish watching that one from the beginning. She's like, I'm going to watch that one night. I'm like, okay, we'll watch it again. <laughs> it was funny, though. I laughed. Strays. Funny, funny, funny. You need to watch it. Me? Yeah. Why do I need to watch it? Because it's funny. <laughs> You're funny. I know. <laughs> I have good days and bad days. I can be funny too, you know, on occasion. Not every day, just on occasion. Oh, my other tweezers. Nice. I just ordered more. Why? Twe there, because I need the fine ones like I have. They, they have to be very, very long and sharp. Because they got my glasses on so I can see them. Um, He's doing great, Laura. He goes home tomorrow. They're letting him go home tomorrow. So home we're very excited. Home. We're the Buffalo Room. Oh, yeah. what are you doing, Missy? He's going That's home with the water and stuff. Mm -hmm. but he needs it to be able to get around. What you doing, baby? What you doing? Did you have a nap? Did you have a nap? Did you have a nap? My little liquor. Did you have a nap, liquor? Mm. <laughs> this is Wiggles. We call her Wiggles. My mom calls her Wiggles. <laughs> Woo, that was close. She almost pushed something. <laughs> All right, Wiggles, behave. Because the way she when she runs, her butt moves faster than she does. Oh, she gets the old butt just to move, and she can. Oh, it's she can funny. do the twist. Even when she walks, she's got a wiggle to her. And she's so Wiggly. long, aren't you, Wiggles? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. Yep. Wiggles. Don't worry, she'll come in and christen your bed for you. She'll be bed hopping. <laughs> oh yeah, right up on the bed. And she's big too. She puts a paw on your head, you're gonna be like, what's this? <laughs> Carol jump out of bed. <laughs> uh, Audrey. <laughs> Audrey, welcome. Come on in and hang out. I appreciate you sharing it. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're just chilling now. now. We're just chilling. Oh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Dog come in and probably, and she drools too, so be careful. Your pillow might be wet. <laughs> Ew, no. Uh, been a while since Catch Lab. Well, I appreciate you coming in. <laughs> might be a little wet. So if you go up and you go to go to bed and it's a little wet, you know why. The dog beat you to the bed and she was just drooling a little bit on the pillow for you. Ugh. She's a drool bucket. <sighs> You don't go in the room across from that room. You go in the one next to it. As long as she doesn't leave you a steam in a hill of something, too. <laughs> yeah, then her mom would get called and she'd get her butt whooped. <laughs> get yelled at. Ooh, and punished. <laughs> no, she doesn't poop in the house. She uh, she occasionally, use, well, she doesn't have an accident in the house in a while. A knock on wood. It's just um, when she gets excited. She's excited. She but I think that's passing too, so it's not. But I haven't had any company for her to get excited. I mean, she sees Peggy every other day, so. I mean, she's excited, but she doesn't get like a work side excited because nobody knew. Right. So she used to get excited when Tara Lee used to come, but I don't think so. She doesn't pee on the floor for her anymore. Have so. you ever picked that up? No, I'm not. I didn't drop it. You did. No, I didn't. You side eyeing me. You got treats. Yep. <laughs> you can get no more. 
<laughs> Come on. Stop climbing those treats. Turd. Stop having those treats. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I thought he was going to chase after the rabbit. Didn't even bother. No. Huh. I said, did you see the bunny? He was too busy looking for his 15 spot to pee. <laughs> Dog has more pee in him and he's so little. He's got to be at least five, six times when he goes out. Every time. Jeez. Like, how much pee can you hold? Apparently a lot. Quite a little pisser. No, you don't, don't you? Are they didn't put these nails Oops. right. Nothing. What the hell? Hey. $95. Did you see? Welcome back. Did you finish the treadmill? No. Not you. It's hard work. I get my exercise every day going up to the stove. I got to go up and do the stove tonight too yet. I got to do the stove. It's 8 o'clock. Yes, it is. It is it 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Eight o'clockers. Yep. <laughs> we had our oh. primary Tuesday. First primary in the nation or something. I don't flip it. No. Just think, we only got it last what less than a month now. God, and... I hope it's over soon because I'm so sick of seeing ads and all that crap. I just want the snow to be gone so I can get back to full time work. Because <laughs> this is going to be better. It's, it's almost there now. <laughs> it's getting there. Of course. CDC, you following me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I love> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Got a little personal stocker going on. <laughs> Stocking's good. <laughs> and not the stocking you fill either. <laughs> Not the Easter Bunny. Brock, Brock. Oh, yeah. 22 minutes, 22 calories, half a mile. Sweet. <sighs> I could do. Another midnight for you staying up? Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Into that room. <laughs> Over uh, there, you'll be you'll be awake yeah. at midnight. Oh no, no, no. sure, you'll wake up. No, nope. yeah, yeah, yep. You know how Mine's I know you'll be awake? Mine's going, huh? Huh? You know how I know you'll be awake? You're not gonna call me. Yeah, at midnight. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's not very nice. Who am I supposed to talk to? You got a dog. I have to talk to she my dog all that. week. Hey, she looks at me like this and goes, Who? You talking to me? Who? I'm like, Yeah. Yep. Conversations are going just anywhere. Eyeballing me. You can see the cataracts. I mean, wow. The blue in his eyes, like from. Yeah. You know, when he. Both eyes are pretty bad. The doctor even said he's going blind. I'm like that's well, can't move furniture around. No Helen Keller over here, huh? Want <laughs> to punish you? You move the furniture. Yeah. They didn't even cut his nails. One o'clock over long. here. Damn girl, one o'clock. Pamela. Friends in Amsterdam, and it's what eight. Two o'clock in the afternoon where Randy is. <sighs> that misses that messes I mean, two up with in the morning. morning. I'm sorry, two in the morning. Sleeps with your messes with your sleep and stuff. Yeah, it does him every time. But when I went to Paris, it was hard. Because I'll tell you, the time difference and stuff, oh my god, it was a killer. 
He's like in a shop. like, Mom. Mom. She keeps eyeballing me like I'm going to give him more. More treats, Mom. You're going to say hi to everybody? February 14th. Wow. You say hi, I'll mm -hmm. give you a treat. Sound like a deal? Yeah, say hi. Say hi to Evie. Hi. Ollie. Hey, over this way. Ollie. I know what'll make you look. Ollie. Ollie. These things smell horrible. He has another one that's in the refrigerator. You have to keep it refrigerated. I opened it up and oh my God, the smell. I, I swear to God, I was going to lose my cookies. He likes them. Are you going to toss your cookies? Yeah. You're going to say hi? <laughs> Very gentle. Sit. 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 Good job. Give me a paw. Nope, this one. Thank you. My other dog, you say, give me a paw before you could even get your hand down there. You already paw up. And they'll say, no, no, I no. Know. I don't want that one. I want the other one. And then he'll do. Yeah. He'll swap them. Yep. Molly's the same way. All no, I got to say it to her. He's already trying to. When when he goes, that's it. I'm I'm done with pets. They're a lot of work. He's 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 spoiled rotten. He really is, and he is a good dog. When Dad's not home, right? Dad's here. You pee and poop on the floor. Mom's here. You don't pee or poop anywhere outside. No more. That's it. You've had enough. You're shut off. It's like at Dean at the bar. You're shut off. You're going to get drunk. <laughs> You'll get sick. You get too many of these stupid things. You're going to be cut off. You've had too many. I ordered some online. I mean, through Amazon. And he likes them except for one bag. Is It's peanut butter. He won't oh, touch them. I got her because she had a um, a chew. It was, it's not a raw hide. It's something else they have. Well, they have. She stopped chewing on it. She wouldn't chew it anymore. I left it in the living room for a long time. So I had an old. I had the last of the peanut butter that was left in the old one. So I went out to the kitchen and I filled all the cracks with the peanut butter <laughs> inside the the rolling thing. Filled yep. it all with cracks. She chewed it and chewed it until it was gone. I bet he doesn't she like peanut it. butter. She loved it. It was funny. Rand shares um, his peanut butter pretzels. They're little pretzels with peanut butter in them. Yeah. And he'll eat those with him. And he loves peanuts. Oh, my God. Huh. Loves peanuts, but don't want peanut peanut butter. Huh. Yeah. It's funny what the lead oh, is. whining and he's eyeballing me. <laughs> it's because we're still out here. And that's late for him. Yeah, because it's usually you're it's usually conked out solid. That's why he's whining and keeps eyeballing me. He's Mama. like, Mom, when we going to bed? He won't go in there without me. No, well. No, neither will Elijah. <laughs> Elijah won't even go in that room unless he has the light on. And then he, as he goes through, he turns the light on. He'll run over and turn on the bathroom light. And then he'll reach around and turn on my bedroom light. Really? <laughs> he don't want to be anywhere in there that's dark. I don't know why. Yeah. Huh? Chase was the same way. Didn't want to go in there unless there was lights on. I mean, they turn on all the lights throughout the whole dang house. Dang. He is a good boy. He's a good dog. He listens when... When he I wants to. <laughs> his ears go down, his butt goes down, and he just crawls away. Don't make me yell at you. Dang. Right, Ollie? All right. And turn that TV off, aren't you? Yes, I am. My dog's getting comfy. My dog was getting comfy. Oh, Peggy made mom squash soup today. 
Mom likes it. So let's Peggy like, made that. I like squash. Well, mom like likes the squash soup, so. Butternut squash, I like that. But anything other than that for squash, I don't like. Well, that's what she got made. That's what she's got for soup. So she better be going to dish it for her. So. Squash soup. I don't know. I was I was just getting ready to leave when Pat came. So I was going to tell I had to go to the, prescri I had to go to the uh, pharmacist because today was mom's senior's discount. And up the pharmacies, they know my mom doesn't go out. Yep. So they just gave me the discount because it's for my mom anyhow. She just gives me a list yeah, of they, they know that though. So I just do that and I went on into town and picked up some scrap and then that was my day. Well, other than doing shit outside, fixing stuff and unloading the truck and fixing stuff and I had to put the lift on and shit like that to get it out. Oh my God, I couldn't believe how much crap I had piled in there. <laughs> you can see his head right there. He almost looks like one of my gnomes. Yeah, I know. I know. You want to if you didn't know, out? you would think so. He's like, don't talk to me. We're still all here. <laughs> and I'm still getting side-eyed. Huh. <laughs> Spoiled brat. Not him. No way. Are you spoiled? Nope. Not even a little bit. Are you picky? A whole oh, yeah. lot. <laughs> <sighs> Anywho. Yeah, I like squash. Time, huh? No squash. I don't eat squash, but I mean, I don't mind it, but I don't want it in a soup. Yeah, no, I can't eat it as soup. Mm -mm. My mom eats it soup, so. I don't like it with stuffing. So she likes, so. She gets what she likes. Yeah, I'm well, it says good night, everyone. Well, good night, girl. Thanks for coming and hanging out. We're gonna head anyhow because I'm gonna go down and I gotta see what my mom's up to. I gotta check the fire, gotta let the you know what, O U T and all that fun stuff, you know. But I appreciate you all coming in and hanging out. And I think we're not sure if Army said she, was, she doesn't know if she's going live tomorrow because she may have to pick up uh Leo hey, tomorrow. But, uh, so we don't know. We have to wait and see, guys. So um being just Welcome there, girl. Um, we're just getting ready to call it because uh, um, Irene's got to go do Jessica some stuff. Marie. Appreciate you coming in. But uh, we're getting ready to close it up and call it a night for us. But uh, tomorrow, I, we're not sure if, like I said, if Irene is maybe pick time, maybe. I don't know. But I'm live at one. If I know I'm if going, you make it, though. Right. I'll find out in the morning and then I'll post. Yeah, let us know. Yep. So we know what's going on. Good, Good night, night Pamela. Pamela. Thank you for coming in, girl. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone that's in here, still hanging with us. It's chilling. I appreciate it. Good and night. we're going to call it a night. So, everyone, have a good night. And uh, hopefully, we'll catch you over tomorrow on Irene's. So hopefully, she goes live at one tomorrow. CDC, have a good night. All right. Bye, guys. See you later. 99. Oh, okay. Have a